The other piece we need to look at for interconnection best practices is the Internet Routing Registry. Many major transit providers and several content providers pay attention to what is contained in the Internet Routing Registry. Now, there are many Internet Routing Registries operating, the most commonly used being those hosted by the regional Internet Registries, the RADB, and some transit providers. The best practice today is for any autonomous system holder to document the routing policy in the Internet Routing Registry. Some transit providers make this mandatory. And in fact, a route object is the absolute minimum requirement for use of the Internet Routing Registry. These IRR objects can be created via the database web interfaces or, in some cases, submitted via email. The policy language used is known as RPSL. There are problems with the Internet Routing Registry, though. It contains a large amount of outdated information. Operators may have set up the network many years ago. They have created the object and then forgotten about it. And also, the other problem is that network operators are not following best practices. In fact, some network operators are now using RPKI, which we'll look at later on in this series, and ROARS to securely indicate the origin AS of their routes. And this takes priority over the IRR entries.